Hi, Aileen here from Swim Angelfish at the National Water Safety Conference to talk to you about what to do if, God forbid, your child's lips, nose, eyes, mouth submerged underwater and you need to pull them out and rescue them, this is what you need to do immediately. We have Bobby Pratt, Marianne Downing, and they're gonna show us what to do. We're gonna talk about hashtag drowning CPR, and here's why. There's so much news about hands-only CPR, but hands-only CPR is for the heart. It's for adult cardiac arrest witnessed by an untrained, it's training for an untrained bystander just for a short period of time before help arrives. And unfortunately in drowning, it's usually children or a healthy person and they are not breathing. So the most important thing to do in drowning CPR is to restore breathing, get some oxygen in that body, and then start the compressions. And Bob Pratt will tell you exactly how to do it. How many breaths do you give, Bob? So we're gonna start out, we're gonna obviously remove the child from the water. And if you're in the water and it's an infant, you can actually do this in the water, check them to see if they're breathing. We're gonna look, listen, and feel. And if they're not breathing or you're not sure if they're breathing or not, we're going to start with two to five rescue breaths. And if it's a, a, a stranger and you don't want to do... Can we start over? You got to go right back to the start? Oh, goodness. Show us what to right. do. Come on. So, um, we're with you. We, we don't worry about barrier masks when okay. we're dealing with our own children, right? You, right? We don't have a problem putting our, our mouth on there. So we, if they're not breathing, we want to slightly tip their head back, not too far back, not too far forward. And we want to give little puffs of air. Cover your their mouth and nose with your mouth. And you can see their chest rise. And they might start crying right then and there. They might start throwing up on you also. I think people are afraid because they think if they don't do it right or they're not certified no. they in CPR. They might, so this yeah. is the message we want to say. That's what right. do we do if we see this? If your child is not How breathing, can we help? they don't want to make Give them harm. breath. They don't want to damage. You know? Their brain right. is starting exactly. to die if they don't have oxygen to their brain. So, so that is the most important thing. Their brain Get no, oxygen no, no, no. in yes. if your child yes. has drowned. Then we're going yes. to check for a pulse. Check for a pulse on a baby on the inside of the upper arm. If you're unsure and your baby's not moving and your baby's not breathing, we're just gonna start with compressions. And you can use two fingers in the center of the chest. We're gonna push hard and push fast. We're gonna do 30 compressions. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. About a third of the, the width of their chest. We're gonna do 30 compressions, two breaths. 30 compressions, two breaths until the ambulance get here. I can also do this on the ground my hand behind the baby's back, do the compressions, do the ventilations. Two breaths, 30 compressions. Now, if an old this. man has a heart attack and drops right here, we don't need to do rescue breaths because there's already oxygen in their lungs, so we need to put our hands in the center of their chest, push hard and push fast, 100 to 120 times a minute. Again, about two inches or a third of their, the width of their chest. We don't need to do breaths unless it's going to be a prolonged period of time. If it's a loved one, go ahead and give the breath. Tip the head back slightly, pinch the, the, the nose, cover your mouth with theirs. Two breaths, hands back to the center. 30 compressions at 100 to 120 beats a minute. If there's an AED available, bring the AED, put the AED on them, have it analyze their rhythm to see whether it's a shockable rhythm. If it's a shockable rhythm, give them the shock, go right back to the compression. So in summary, there was a child drowning. First thing we do, give breaths. They need air. Get the air in their lungs. You then check their pulse, you don't feel a pulse, so then you go to the compressions. However, you see somebody collapse on the street, this isn't an issue where there's not air. You can start with the compressions. Someone you love though, give them some air to help save their brain. Got it. And hands-only CPR is only done until help gets there. Help is gonna come and they're gonna start with oxygen. And oxygen is the key to preventing drowning deaths. So Thank you want to get you. oxygen there Thank as soon you. as possible. Thank this you. This is super helpful. Really appreciate it. Thank you for doing this. Yep. Thank you.